project is a non-profit foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash berlinexplorer. So welcome to 50 minutes of experience. Today I'm with Enrique Medina. Welcome Enrique. Hi, thank you for having me. It's a nice pleasure to, to be with you. It's a pleasure for me too. So uh, you you are uh, practically a Spanish architect uh, uh, moved uh, in Tokyo three years ago, and this is more or less what I know about you. But uh, if you can introduce something about you, then it will be more uh, uh, easy then to go to the next step together. Yeah, as you told, uh, yeah, I'm a Spanish architect. I was working for more than 25 years uh, in hotel business related. And um, yeah, three years ago, I decided to leave all behind and move to, to Japan. Uh, I visited twice previously, and I felt quite attracted by this country and, and everything. So, so yeah, I, I, I started a new life, and, and I'm still working with uh, architecture related. Actually, I was working for for the Olympics. I already finished in the. The Paralympics uh, during this time, but uh, yeah, photography is kind of a passion for me. Maybe more than 15 years ago, something like that. I started shooting more like, I mean, still, I'm still amateur, but I start uh, getting more and more into this uh, street photography kind of discipline. I'm I'm still amateur. It's really funny. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, during I watch I watch your work on your website. Uh, listening that it's really funny. I have to say, yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, uh, yeah for sure. Uh, it's, uh, you are not an amateur at all. Uh, I mean, you are an amateur for sure because uh, it's a passion. You do it, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. but if we have to compare. Uh, your work to to a professionist i mean uh, it's there is no really difference between mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, very and... nice to, nice to hear but but maybe the word amateur uh, is like to be curious about uh, learning every single day even if you are more serious oh, professional yeah. about about it but if you are still curious and every day you are want to learn uh, so we can we can say new eyes we can say Dedo Moriyama is an amateur. I think so. I yeah. think so. so I'm sure, sure. You, 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 you enjoy many of uh, his documentaries and, yeah. and the way he approached photography, even when he's now 80 something, is really curious about like, when he experienced the first time the digital photography a few years ago. It's like oh, like a, a like a kid with a new toy. Like a, yeah, a, yeah, is, yeah. I mean, so I I'm uh, totally agree with you about that. But I think uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know the word amateur. It's uh, I mean it's not representative of what uh, I mean. It's a uh, passion, and we can say we can coin it at the, a new mm -hmm. new word that's passionate about. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that uh, we are amateur or professionists if we get money yeah, yeah. or not. I mean. Today with photography we can uh, take money. I mean, in every way. I mean, it's important how, ma how many money we get. If we get money with photography, it's uh, we are professionals. If we get, uh, for example, uh, we upload our picture in a stock mm -hmm. market and we get one euro per month, we are professionals. Or oh, there, yes, is, a, there is a range. There is a range of uh, money that we have to overpass to oh. to say we are photographer. Oh, maybe it's a good question. Yeah, maybe it's as far as you are free to do whatever you want, never mind if you are amateur or, or professional. Uh, if you are uh, strict uh, to to some some uh, someone that uh, in charge uh, work, I don't know. The amateur for me is kind of you do whatever you want and you are free for doing whatever you want. If you're getting money for that one that's perfect that's the perfect scenario 
but uh, in my case, um, amateur, I do whatever I want. And sometimes I, I did some exhibitions, something like that. I, I didn't get uh, much more money about it, but yeah. I still enjoy shooting on the streets. And that's, it's, it's a really fun uh, and it's a therapy for me. It's just, so, uh, it was just a provocation from my part to, to come out with an answer uh, yeah. <laughs> more, more longer. But uh, uh, yeah, I can hear you that uh, in a way you, you, you are losing your uh, Spanish accent uh, uh, and it's a more uh, Japanese accent now. <laughs> so maybe. That, so the, watching your picture, I, I see that uh, there is a lot of street photography. Yeah, the attraction for the Asian woman and uh, Uh, some scene uh, really in black and white is black and white style mm -hmm. it's Japanese uh, but I'm really curious uh, are you enjoying uh, uh, for example the food there I mean I will uh, I will love to enjoy mm -hmm. the food there I will I will love uh -huh. to come and live there just fairly only for the food for sure uh, <laughs> yeah if, if someone has to tell me okay choose you can choose a food a woman or uh, I don't know <laughs> Um, relax, I will say food, food, food so fast. <laughs> uh, came to my mind a kind of joke, but maybe I'm not, it's not time for making it. Yeah, that's the time, the time, the time. But, but uh, yeah, for sure, I, 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 I love Japanese food. So, and it's a pleasure discovering every day uh, in, a, in any single izakaya you can discover a new a small fish, a new, a new small um, vegetable, local, depending on the season, something like that. Yeah. And food totally. here, and food, food here is, is really uh, crazy amazing. I didn't expect that people here is uh, so crazy about food here. And they are very proud of, uh, depending on the prefecture. So depending on which people you you related with, uh, you're learning every day uh, a new a new kind of eating food, even the same kind of fish, different preparation, uh, pork. I didn't yeah, expect that pork yeah. here. They prepare it like a crazy amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I can imagine yeah. the, the, the libido <laughs> you have every day when you, when you go in the street market, uh, And uh, yeah, doing, yeah, shooting all of these people, uh, there is uh, from uh, one and another, there is something to eat in the yeah, street exactly. food will be so amazing. And uh, I asked you that because uh, yeah, in your picture, there is a, a, a big amount of uh, people uh, in the street. Mm -hmm. But I asked to myself, uh, have a, uh, happen never that you shoot picture of the food you eat every day? I, I used to shoot a picture of food that I eat every day, uh, but I, I don't feel like uh, sharing that, that kind of picture. So the, the picture I used to share, uh, I don't know why, but it's kind of, I like to, to share the energy that I feel every day when I'm shooting on the street. I and mean, the energy, even this, uh, during this uh, fucking COVID days, Um, I'm still getting some very positive energy in, in the district of, of Tokyo. So I like to shoot the, this movement, this uh, kind of uh, special bright of sun, uh, this kind of bright eyes, movement of the hands. It's kind of many things related with the body of, of people. And then maybe now because the face is covered, but I kind of focus more in maybe some hand gesture or some uh, legs uh, movement, yeah. some blurry things. Um, but I really attract about, about the energy in this, in this town. You know, so I'm, this I'm really curious to ask you, uh, what is the, uh, the feeling of the, the approach uh, in the street in Tokyo? I mean, Tokyo is not uh, Kyoto, it's not... Uh, It's not mm -hmm. a city that uh, you are the only one, uh, uh, Kaijin, uh, it's not Kaijin, it's mm -hmm. um, um, another word I forgot, okay, so the only one uh, foreign, you know? Uh, yeah, Gaijin is for for then we I'm a Gaijin. Actually, it's not very really yeah. positive word, <laughs> but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a Gaijin for then. Yeah, yeah. So you are not the only stranger, the only foreign, no. So mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, yeah, you can have probably less attention than uh, being in Kyoto or in uh, mm -hmm. other cities. And uh, so, how is to approach? Uh, I mean, you should uh, sometimes pictures are really close to. 
to the face mm. of people and mm -hmm. how people react on you? Uh, I think I'm very lucky with uh, living in here because uh, people usually when you shoot in their face is kind of uh, not looking for any any fight at all. I, I had some kind of anecdote, but it was maybe once every 100 uh, picture, I can get some, some people that is not too happy. But even if they're not too happy, they ask me, you took my picture? I, I told them, yeah, yeah, I took your picture. You can I see? Um, I saw the picture and usually they don't ask me for delete it. I offer, if you want me to delete it, I delete it. And they saw that in black and white, I used to take one of the magazines that I, I published in Spain with the, kind of my work. And I, I used to share with them and I'm not a crazy guy that I'm shooting like <laughs> in a very weird way. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to, to shoot in people in their face. Yeah. I'm not that is maybe not even I shoot with flash. So sometimes it's kind of even more provocative. Yeah, but uh, it's a risk. It's a risk that I take. But in maybe in a different city would be more even more risky. But here in, in Tokyo, um, people are really nice. Uh, in Japan, usually people are crazy about photography. And even if I make a gym <laughs> foreigner here, yeah. I have the I have the excuse for uh, pretend to be a tourist. Yeah, I mean, in so, a way, yeah, for this, this, also, <laughs> yeah, it's a tourist, so we don't give a fuck about him, no? Yeah, exactly. So that, I use it that one as a very, very advantage. But uh, usually, um, I know that is risky, and sometimes I, I, I used to shoot uh, very close. But it was is what I uh, want to get the, the the detail of the expression of uh, a hand moving or whatever. So sometimes it's, they, they don't have time to realize that I was they were shoot. Yeah. But uh, but I don't know. It's the way I, I used to like. I, I if you I don't know if you if you read my in my website uh, Mark Cohen, uh, this guy he used to shoot uh, on the street. I think he's still alive. I think this guy. I think he's. And he used to shoot uh, with the, the flash during the daylight. Yeah, there is also, oh, yeah, I mean, so wow. many people are doing this kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. But this, this guy, the way he's playing, the, the way he shoots, and the, during that documentary, it was changing my, my thought of uh, shooting on the street. Because I, I used to be kind of very introvert. I never thought about shooting with flash in the face of someone. But after watching that documentary, I was thinking, you know, I had to try that one. I tried yeah. it in Madrid. I'm, I have from to Madrid. Say, I have to say, watching your picture, I will never think you are an architect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> completely, completely the dark side. <laughs> the dark side, exactly. <laughs> That's nice. And, and but... yeah, sure in Madrid, what what uh, what was the difference? What is the difference between Madrid and uh, and Tokyo? I think that's yeah, really big, you know. But also because you speak Spanish, so you understand uh, uh, more mm -hmm. faster than than uh, in Japan. Uh, that if uh -huh. someone uh, say to you "fuck you" or something else. <laughs> in Madrid, actually, when I, when I start shooting like uh, that close with flash, uh, I started using in Madrid maybe five six years ago before coming to here. And I didn't shoot too much in, in Madrid, actually, but I, I didn't get any, any bad experience in, in Madrid it's because it's unexpected that someone should with the flash in the daytime. At night, it's kind of more, it's more evident, but during the daytime, it's kind of, if, if you are looking at people getting the sun in their face and you're shooting the flash, you have the sun in the back and the, and the flash in their face, so it's, it's kind of, they don't react. They don't expect that kind of uh, uh, behavior about some crazy guy with the camera. Um, the camera is, uh, yeah, the Rico. Uh, I get the, the new Fuji lately, but I used to have, I used to use both 50 uh, 50 every day, depending. But I have the remote flash, the remote uh, little flash, and it's connected with the camera. And so I have the way one hand the, the flash and the other, the other one the camera. So sometimes it's kind of the light is not coming from the camera; it's coming from the different angles. So sometimes it's kind yeah. of, uh, but this you get kind of different lighting and effect the the effect of the lighting and the and the shooting of the angle 
Um, sometimes I like to be surprised by the shooting because I, I'm shooting, I, I'm not looking to the eyes. And when I when I check in the laptop, I, I, I discover something you know, like, wow, I love this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I like to be, to be surprised what I was shooting. So I, I, can, I, I can totally understand that feeling. Yeah, it's, it's uh, shooting and then uh, yeah, also because you shoot a lot, man. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm, uh, I scroll, 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 yeah, mm. and I, I, then I understood that uh, there are 2,000 posts all in one account and then I discovered the that you have other three four account uh, <laughs> and only only on instagram and then yeah it's it's uh, i scroll 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 but yeah it's never <laughs> and, uh, and i'm asking to myself okay uh how many terabytes of picture you have <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have a lot actually I'm, I'm trying to organize all the shoot that i that i have and it's a long time to shoot because i'm now i'm trying to organize shooting from 2007 some, some trips in that I did in Istanbul and I tried to discover some picture that I oh wow I don't remember the, those those yeah, pictures yeah, yeah. that I had and try to to filter I, I shoot a lot I shoot a lot in this uh, situation as uh, I'm I'm a as I'm a curator and the editor I'm so 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 curious uh, to to yeah to open your archive and see okay it's like really the mm -hmm. playground just uh, discovering mm -hmm. the all the piece of Lego you have inside and uh, yeah what, yes, what can I construct with your picture you know mm -hmm. it's uh, a yeah, yeah. this feeling is uh, and uh, yeah this is what I'm doing right now talking with you I'm selecting some picture for uh, some. Uh, mm -hmm. um, books we are organizing we are uh, mm -hmm. creating uh, that uh, yeah i will uh, propose you to do it because oh, that's great. Many, many a lot a lot a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and uh, i was asking uh, uh, i was asking to myself uh, do you also i do it to this usually in the street i i like to mm -hmm. shoot uh, the trash uh, or um, even uh, the food smashed on the ground uh, do you do mm -hmm. do you do it usually that stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, even mainly at night. At night, uh, there's a kind of uh, dark uh, street in uh, around the Shinjuku area. Um, there's some alleys that are pretty, pretty dark. Usually, the few rats around. Um, but there's uh, some painting in the in all parkings uh, in that in that area. They are painting numbers over numbers. So sometimes they paint number three over number one and you can see that after maybe 10 years they they, they compose a new um, picture in in the, in the asphalt yeah. i mean when you discover this kind of thing it's like bingo this is kind of maybe they didn't decide to uh, delete the number one and they paint the three the three over that maybe 10 years later so when you discover this kind of the pass of time in in, in, in the asphalt maybe nobody nobody cares but sometimes you find it by by, <laughs> by chance. That's great. And even some in, in here in Japan, in because the earthquake, the, the buildings uh, they are not all together. They have a kind of a, a small gap between them. Okay. Even it's not possible to to a person to to go inside. So there's full of garbage around Whoa. for trying to to. And, and you, when, when you use the flash in this kind of a small 30 centimeters uh, gap between those buildings, you can find a lot of stuff. So it's kind of... Yeah, I, can, well, I can imagine that is, it, uh, all the stuff is accumulating there uh, for years. Yeah, exactly. Years. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's so, so crazy. It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, last things I want to ask you then. Yeah, probably we can do it another podcast also in the future because uh, I think there yeah, is nice. a lot of stuff to, to, to talk about with you. Uh, but uh, yeah, something that recently did you did you experience that in photography that uh, in a way or another uh, keep is keep there in your mind and you want to share with us. Um, now I'm discovering that. Depending on the camera, the the kind of photography that you you have is a kind of pretty different uh, point of view, because I, I used to have uh, the Ricoh GR2, uh, I may still have it, um, because it's very pokeable and it's, it's a small one. Uh, it's crazy for shooting different angles, and it is I used to have uh, I used to shoot with the uh, 28 millimeters. I already like the 21 millimeter conversion lens that I experienced like a, maybe one year ago, something like that. I really like it. But since I get the, the, the Fuji film X100V, it's 35 millimeters. 
I like it. The quality of Fujifilm is really nice, but it's a bigger camera. But the way of um, holding it um, makes you have a kind of different photography. So it's mm -hmm. kind of more post photography. So this kind of feeling of depending on what you have in your hand to shoot in depending of your feeling is I'm kind of experimenting every day. Uh, and I used to have kind of 50 percent uh, like the small one, 28, 21 with Rico. And sometimes when I'm more quiet and more calm and more decent, I used to use the, the, the Fuji. I mean, mainly I use, I used to shoot in black and white, but I don't know if you check my, the other account that I have, uh, Vansa Yako, mm -hmm. it's Vansa Japan color. Yeah. I the have color, the really. color, the color in Japan are amazing. So sometimes there are some kind of pictures that are asking for color. So it's kind of the color is really, really. Yeah, yeah. So you have kind to, of... to reserve in a way that this color, no. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of experimenting, experimenting uh, every day, and depending on the light at night, also with the blurry thing. Depending, on, I don't know. It's kind of playing with your with your mood, and um, it's kind of yeah trying to discover every day when you're going out to taking pictures it's like you are amateur again and you are learning again and you depending on your feeling you shoot whatever you feel yeah yeah i totally, I totally get the point so mm. i thank you a lot Enrique, uh to your time mm. uh, to talk with us and uh, about your experience My and pleasure. I, I told you it uh, would be nice to continue this our talk mm -hmm. in the near oh, future watch. and uh, yeah talk about different stuff i'm curious to ask you many other stuff so then uh, i invite you again right and mm -hmm. uh, uh but for this time uh, i thank you a lot and uh, everyone perfect the work of Enrique. yeah there are a thousand of link will be in the description uh, That's right. <laughs> i mean yeah i want to say yeah that you can spend uh, probably two three days watching all, all the instagram and then yeah you discover there is a uh, 500 pixel uh, the website uh, and that's uh, so on and uh, I cannot imagine uh, to discover also the architecture part because, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you a lot for your time and uh, thank you too. See you in the next podcast. Okay, see you soon and thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to, to collaborate with you guys. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash Berlin Explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer project.